friends, welcome back to the Star King Virtual Library with me, Miss Mackie. The story I'm going to be reading for you today is called Strictly No Elephants, written by Lisa Metchev, illustrated by Tyeen Yu, with permission from Simon & Schuster Books. So let's get started. Strictly No Elephants. The trouble with having a tiny elephant for a pet is that you never quite fit in. No one else has an elephant. So we can see all the pets going on in the windows. We see over here we have, let's see, the girl with her bird, a cat. What about here? A fish. What animals do you see there? Right, some dogs, another little dog, and our tiny elephant. Every day I take my elephant for a walk. His is a very thoughtful sort of walk. So see, he helps out. He doesn't like the cracks in the sidewalk very much. I always go back and help him over. That's what friends do. Lift each other over the cracks. Today, I'm walking my tiny elephant to number 17. It's pet club day and everyone will be there. Oh, so cute. He's getting them all dressed up in the mirror. They have matching scarves. Trying to look good for pet club day. There goes everybody. Come along, there's a good boy. I coax him in, that means convince him to come. The last few feet, it'll be fine. See, he's quite nervous. When I look up, there's a sign on the door. Strictly no elephants. <clears throat> Look at how everyone angry everyone's looking. My tiny elephant leads me back to the sidewalk, never minding the cracks. That's what friends do. Brave the scary things for you. Hmm, so the cracks aren't bothering him now. Maybe he's too upset or sad about the situation. And there they are. So our authors kind of use some color here. Everything's blue and darker to also illustrate how sad they feel beyond just the looks on their faces. Did you try to go to the pet club meeting too? The girl asks. Yes, I say, but they don't allow elephants. The sign didn't mention skunks, the girl says, but they don't want us to play with them either. They don't know any better, I tell her. He doesn't stink, the girl adds. No, he doesn't, I agree. What if we start our own club? Come along, I say, making certain that my tiny elephant follows me. Because that's what friends do. They never leave anyone behind. And look at her. What's her pet up there? Can you guys tell? Ooh, she's got a penguin. I see some other pets. Do you see that other one there? A pet giraffe. Look at all these people with all sorts of different pets or different friends. What are some that you see? Go ahead, shout them out. I already said the giraffe and the penguin. What about down here? That's right, a narwhal. And a mm -hmm, bat porcupine, an armadillo, all sorts of different pets. 
We can play here, one of our new friends says. All of us. So we paint our own sign, it says, all are welcome. My tiny elephant will give you the directions if you need them. And look who else is joining. Do you think that this park is only going to be for like the strange animals? Do you think they're going to exclude all the normal pets like dogs and cats? Mm -mm, I think we can see. Look down here. Some dogs and cats are coming in and our boy there is kind of saying welcome. Because that's what friends do. Friends include everyone. Well, I hope you joined our story, Stri er, Strictly No Elephants, and I'll see you again next time. But between then, make sure you read every day. Bye now.